Uh, this is my JL Wrangler. Um, we had ordered a few months ago a skid plate uh, for the Jeep and it finally came in today. So we are going to go through the unboxing and install um, on this today. Uh, if this is something you're interested in, please stick around for the video. If you subscribe to the channel and you come back, uh, thanks for subscribing. Uh, please leave a comment at the end and uh, we'll get right to the unboxing. All right, what comes in the kit is the full skid plate. Uh, we have a bracket that mounts to uh, one side of the motor mount, and then another bracket that goes to the other side, and then you have all the hardware you need, including um, the recessed uh, dished uh, washers so that if you ride up over top of something, it doesn't get hung on a nut. All right, that's that. It's a little bit of a pain to get the bolt started, uh, but once you get them in, um, it goes pretty quickly so on to the next side so the next side fits up into that motor mount on that side using the existing uh, bolt hole that's there all right the driver's side is in and it goes on that front part of the driver's side um, motor mount and then There's a better look at the bolts on the passenger side. Now, if you're like me, um, you've got and you're on your back in your driveway, you got to take this uh, rear cross member off, and then you got to loosen the bolts along the um, transfer case uh, cross member as well. All right, these bolts come off with an 18 millimeter um, socket. And there's three bolts. The one that goes to the transmission uh, cross member, you gotta take that one off. And then one on each of the frame rail sides. And then that comes down. This is coming off because it's being replaced by the full skid plate. So that's, uh, that's the install of the more off-road transmission and oil pan skid plate. So you've got a uh, nice smooth clearance in case sticks or anything else pop up in there. Uh, you still have access to the oil filter and the oil drain plug and uh, it went together pretty smoothly. Uh, not bad for being on your back. It takes about an hour and a half to do. All right, so uh, that took about an hour and a half. Um, it's cold outside, so I was kind of moving a little bit slow. Uh, the two brackets that go on the motor mounts uh, go up pretty easily. Um, Single-handedly trying to get that pan up there is a, another animal in and of itself, but happy with how it turned out. Um, and it's gonna protect the underside of the vital components of the motor and the transmission, and that's really what I was looking for. So. Uh, the fit and finish it went well together um, everything fit as it was supposed to and uh, that's all we got so this is hope you enjoyed the video this is uh, Fisher Deep Adventures we'll talk to you next time